Hi guys. Hi guys. How are you? Hello for the people on Twitch. Hi. Hi. Top models by Nusia. Hello, hello, hello. Thank you, Shiragat. Thank you. Uh, hello, hello, Carlita. Hello, it's not Jude. Um, hello also to the people on Twitch. Today, guys, I am. I have like a, a, a whole setup, not only for 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 Instagram, but also for Twitch. Um, I just bought a new lamp, so I hope everything is looking fine. Also, you can see my new LED lights that they are purple in the background. Um, well, hope on Twitch people can hear me. You can hear me, guys. <laughs> Just let me know. Um, hola, Jan. Um, uh, hello, Bing Mayet. Hello, Bruce's Pack. I'm fine. A lot of, a lot of, mm, you know, comments. <laughs> I'm fine, guys. I'm fine. I'm not having coffee today. Well, you know, guys, that I don't, don't drink coffee. Um, gracias, Jan. Genial. Uh, I have my tea. Well, it's not tea. It's like, I think in the name in English is chamomile. I don't know, guys. Let me know. So I have these. And also today I'm going to paint like these very fast sketches. Uh, that I did uh, in one sketch session. I think this one was for myself. Um, sí, Carlita, en dos idiomas. <laughs> Aquí hay de todo. Uh, hi, Solar. Well, this is super hot right now. Um, well, so um, let's pin that. I mean, today I really want this to be ch chill, child, no, chill, and enjoy and just talk and, you know, know you better, guys, also on Twitch. Hola, bye, Mary. ¿Qué tal estás, guapa? Uh, hola, Mariela. Creo que desde que he empezado a hablar en español, cada vez hay más gente que se une en español. <risa> o al menos esa es la sensación que tengo. Bueno, let's see, guys. Let's see, let's see. Well, I uh, hope you, all of you had a nice week, a nice weekend. Um, uh, by Mary, ¿me escuchas perfectamente en Twitch? Porque tengo aquí una cosa que he quitado y no sé si se seguirá escuchando el micrófono. Um, okay, hello guys, hello to everyone. Okay, let's start guys, because today um, uh, I'm going to be one hour and a half on live. Uh, you know, guys, that now uh, Luis, uh, if you are new here and you don't know it, Luis is my husband and she, she no, he um, arrived earlier to have lunch. So I have to, you know, guys, make lunch. <laughs> So um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's paint this. I'm going to do very quick painting because I want to color them and, and you know, practice different things. Um, maybe, okay, Mary, gracias. Um, maybe um, uh, experiment with the colors, you know, not using regular colors for skin or for things. So basically I want to experiment today. And this is what I'm going to be doing. Um, hello to everyone who is joining. Uh, hello, hello, hello. Also, another option that I was planning to do today was maybe we can do it next week. Um, just uh, doing or drawing your suggestions. I don't know, guys, if this is something that you maybe found. Um, maybe you found it. Uh, fun to do, you know, you propose a prompt for me and I just have to draw it like online. So, I mean, online, um, in the life. 
high pixel pleasure. So let me know if you really like this idea to propose me things and I have to draw it. And also, it's a, I think it's a very fun way to go up from the comfort zone. Um, so yeah, please let me know in the, in the comments. Um, in the comments, sorry guys, in the chat. And um, other thing, if you have any questions, uh, please use the question tab also on Twitch. Uh, I can see the, I can see the, I'm seeing the chat, so I'm going to be there, but on Instagram that I have a lot of people joining, uh, please, if you have any question, uh, use the question tab so I can see it and I'm not going to miss it. Um, Grave, Grifty Fox says it's a very fun idea. Okay, so probably we are going to do that next week. Uh, thank you, Pixel Pressure. So happy you like my drawings. Well, um, let's start with the coloring of these things. Um, so I'm seeing, um, it's a thing that I can see people, I mean, who is in the chat right now, but well. Okay, I'm just closing, um, things on my computer because I realized I'm just going to close also the Google Chrome um, that the other day uh, the image um, the image from my uh, my drawing and the voice were not synchronized <laughs> and I think because it's because my computer is super old and it really needs more capacity I, I already told you the same every day um how I learned Procreate? Well, I, I have to say that I learned it. Uh, I learned Procreate uh, by myself, to be honest. I didn't do any type of course or anything, so I am completely... Um, what's the name of that in English? That I learned myself? Well, I, did a, I think it's a word from this. Hi, Arbai Jean from Philippines. Thank you for joining. I think it's really late there. Maybe, I don't know, maybe night. Um, Solar 2022, 20, 22? No, 22, no, 2002. Um, thank you, so happy you like them. Okay, let's paint <laughs> because I'm going, I'm going to stay here just talking uh, with you. Uh, by the way, guys, I know I just say last week that I was going to put on sale the wash brushes. I'm still working on it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I have to say I'm, I'm a, a disaster, guys. I'm a disaster. But I have been busy with all kinds of stuff and I have to... Uh, yeah, self-doubt, exactly. I am self-doubt on Procreate. Well, uh, let's see what I'm going to use. I'm going to my brushes. Ah, probably the ones from the new pack. Yeah, this. I'm going to choose a color palette. Uh, lately, I am a lot in the, you know, in this mood of this color palette. I'm just singing because on Twitter, on Twitch, they don't see my, you know, my me pointing. Um, but I'm a lot into these reds and pinks color palettes, so probably I'm going to use that. But I want to check. Maybe we can use another color palette to. Um, Which one, which one? I want one that uh, brings me different color options. Let me see. Okay, I'm going with one of these. I mean, I know this is not very experimental, if I have to be honest. 
Um, clearly this one. Oh no, it's, uh, um, I don't know what to do. Okay, let's go for this one. Let's go crazy this this time. Uh, da, 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 let's see. Hello to everyone. Thank you, Art Gallery, Art Gallery in Antalya. Okay. I want to keep uh, these shadows I made. I don't know where they are. Where are they? Not here. Not here. Oh, this one. Uh, what I have here is the, um, uh, you know, the, all the individual sketches. So I'm going to group them all and hide them. And I'm going to paint here. I think with this color of inking, uh, I think it will look, you know, with this color thing, it will work fine. Um, I don't know about the difference. Uh, I mean, I know about the, about the difference about being 2D um, illustrator or 3D animator. I think they are completely different things. Um, you know, uh, I, I don't know because I don't know, as I said, I'm a self I'm not in the industry. Uh, but in my case, I am a character designer, so I think it will probably more uh, significance with the 2D animator. Um, but also, I don't know, because I don't do animate animation, so I'm very bad at animation. <laughs> I don't have any idea of how to do it or the tools or anything. I think I like more also, I'm sorry, guys, because I am touching the microphone on Twitch <laughs> with the head. Um, I am... Uh, I don't animate things. I just draw. You know, I, I don't know if this is the, what I what you wanted to say, um, but yeah. Uh, thank you, Jiwa Hair. Thank you. So happy you like them. I'm sure if you try, you will. I mean, this is time and practice and these things. So I'm going to start coloring the skins. I want to try different colors for skins, like pinks and purples. I mean, probably this time also this, I have to change that, <laughs> multiply. Uh, I set the shadows uh, layer to multiply. So you see now I have some kind of shadows with the things that I already had. Uh, let's see. Oh, I have another brush. Okay, guys, it will be amazing if you can share. Uh, uh, if you can share the live stream on your story so more people can see it and can join. I think there's a way to do that. I don't know. Um, I don't have any idea. I mean, I'm new with that. Uh, hi, Lily. Li no, sorry, Lil Yates. Lil Yates. Uh, well, you. <laughs> Um, oh yeah, this is, I was thinking if this girl was having like leggings or not, but no, this is the skin. 
Also, guys, it's super fun from time to time. Just grab some, uh, just grab some uh, drawings you like, you know, some reference you like, and do some sketch sessions by yourself, like this, the one that I did here. They are from Pinterest, by the way. Uh, I did them a long time ago, but as I have a lot of sketches that I didn't paint, um, uh, I think it's a good option also to just experiment with them, you know, and use them for doing different things. Again, I think this is not the legs. I think they are leggings. Okay. Um... These are not the color of the legs. I mean, there's so much time that I did them that I don't remember. Um, I don't have a portfolio. Uh, well, all the work that I've done, it's on, uh, it's on Instagram. You can follow my feed and there you can see everything I've done. Also on Patreon, I share more of this stuff, you know, things that I did not finish. Um, and these kind of things. Mm, I want to do that with a darkened skin tone, so I'm going to choose this color. And I'm going to keep... I mean, today I'm not going to work with different layers. Um, I only... I'm going to try to merge uh, things in the same layer. For example, all the skin tones in the same layer um, mm -hmm. and these things. Hola, Hinda. Shirley Illustrate says, draw some boys. Um, I will, I will. I, I draw some boys, but I never share them because they are looking pretty, pretty, pretty bad. Um, but I don't know if I have here the books. No, I don't have here today the books, uh, the books that I am illustrating. Um, there, I have to draw a lot of boys. So there, um, I mean, I keep the boys for, you know, work <laughs> and not for pleasure. <laughs> I know this is sounding very, very bad. Uh, hola, Alui, Aluyu, ¿qué tal? Muchas gracias por pasarte por el live stream. <laughs> un placer, que, un placer tenerte por aquí. <laughs> Uh, let's see, let's see. Uh, uh, um. uh, los que estáis en Twitch, si veis que me voy de la pantalla es porque estoy mirando los comentarios de Instagram. Vale, porque está aquí la gente eh, diciendo cositas. Uh, you need to see the boys. Uh, oof, I'm not sure. <laughs> um, hola, Edna, Edna, Erika, bienvenida. Uh, the thing with boys is, uh, at least the thing that happens to me, is that when I draw boys, they are like... Um, they look very feminine because I am used to work, you know, I'm I'm used to paint girls and draw girls. So the treat, the treat traits, yeah, the traits of the face and body and things, they are like a little bit girly. So I need I really need to practice. Um maybe we can do that. Some sketching, maybe we can sketch some boys uh on upcoming live streams. Um, I have to say that if I do that, I can't teach you mm, things because I am a disaster drawing boy. So, yeah, don't expect me to give you tips <laughs> that time. I'm sure some of you draw boys better than me. So, Okay, let's see more skin tones. This is, I'm going to paint this one more light. Yeah, it's lighter. Uh, 
Hello to everyone who's joining. Also guys, when I see um, the, these sketches that I do for the sketch session, for example, or, or the ones I do for myself, you know, on weekends and things, um, I know how bad um, time man manager I am because I have them on finish it. And for example, I think these ones could be like I was on portraits, you know, for example, this one here could be amazing to just draw it um, by himself or itself. And this one the same, this one the same. Um, this one, I know I use it for the wash a workshop I did for Patreon uh, months ago. Uh, but yeah, I mean, the rest, I didn't do anything with them. So I think I need to start making, you know, being more intelligent in these things and using work that I already have. Okay, I see some one of you say something. Um, if I have to be honest, I don't know why mostly artists draw girls. For me, it's easier, um, maybe because, I don't know, uh, maybe because when we start having our first, uh, you know, um, how, it's very difficult to explain that. But when we have like first uh, inspirations are from Disney, you know, the Disney princesses, and I'm sorry, I'm going to have some tea. And I think um, I think most of the people who draw this kind of a style also are girls. And I don't know, I think it's something related to or first, you know, uh, influences. <laughs> I would other house. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sometimes I, th I think I'm crazy uh, because, well, not crazy, but, you know, I'm turning crazy because um, at the beginning, uh, when at the beginning I started speaking only in English, but um, as I had have more patrons that they are from Spain and also from, um, you know, Argentina, Chile, I mean, people who also speak Spanish. Um, I started on Patreon just um, doing the podcast in Spanish. And one thing that happened to me at the beginning on the podcast is that um, I didn't know how to express about drawing in Spanish. I know it's very difficult to say because obviously Spanish is my uh, mother tongue or, you know, my... Oh, whoop, I have here. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Um, what I was saying is that Spanish is my main language, but I had English very associate, associated with um, with the drawing. So I was feeling very weird um, just speaking Spanish. But now, you know, now sometimes I don't know how to say a word in Spanish and I say it in English, uh, even in my home, you know, when I'm talking to my husband. And it's like, okay, uh, how is this called in Spanish? I, mean, I know the name in English, but not in Spanish. And it's very weird. <laughs> Super weird, I have to say. Hello to everyone who joined it while I was speaking. <laughs> okay, so um, maybe I will have to repeat some. some, some, some. This one is this one. What I'm doing first, guys, is just painting skin tones. So I uh, I will plan the rest of the drawing from the color skin. This one is different than this one, yeah. What about, uh, maybe it is too gray. I don't know, what about the gray color? I think I don't like it. This one is darkened. Maybe I can do this girl darkened color. And I'm going to put this 
Anyways, oops. They're pretty similar. I don't know. Mm. Hmm, this one. Too red. It's very difficult, guys, to choose colors when. Eh, by Mary, sí, exacto. O sea, es muy difícil y me resultó muy difícil incluso expresarme eh, en cosas tan tontas como los pinceles. No sé, cosas muy simples. Eh, supongo que será porque te acostumbras a hablar sobre ese tema en, en inglés y ya como que es difícil salir de ahí. Pero bueno, la verdad que me alegro mucho de, de haber dado el paso para empezar a hablar en español porque la verdad es que tengo seguidores de todas partes y aunque el inglés es internacional, nuestra lengua hay que respetarla y hay que hacerla valer. Y eso lo digo siempre. <ríe> ok, let's see. Ok, nothing, nothing here. Um, let's see, let's see. Well, I'm going to keep this red. Bye, Pixel Pleasure. Have a nice day. Happy to have you here for a while. Um, oops, no. Maybe this one. It's a cute color to pull. Okay, let's do clean up. I really love how this one turned out. Um, uh, as Ray Illustrates says, can you tell me which one is better, Procreate or Photoshop? Because I don't have both. And I use my phone to draw on Ibis Paint. Um, I have to say that I never use Ibis Paint. Um, but if I have to choose, uh, if you have a computer, you will choose between Photoshop and Clip Studio Paint. Well, um, these, are, these are my suggestions. I don't know if Ibis Paint is also for computer. Uh, but Procreate is on, only on iPad, so you have to have an iPad for use uh, Procreate. But in between these two, um, being honest, I think I will prefer Procreate to draw. I think for me it's more, uh, you know, easy to... I mean, I know, guys, this is not a sponsor by Procreate, by the way. Um, but uh, I really love the app and I love the design. And I always say that um, if one day people from Procreate and if you people from Procreate are hearing this somewhere, um, this message arrived to you, uh, please work on a laptop, you know, and on a laptop app because I would really love to draw on Procreate on the computer. I don't know, I don't know guys about you, the ones that use Procreate, but I really wanted to do that. It's like my dream. <laughs> Whoops. As you can see, guys, I'm not paying attention. I mean, I'm not going to do the clean sketch or anything. Um, this exercise I'm doing today, it's to work with um different color palettes so i'm going to keep the roughness of the sketch so yeah don't expect this to be like a finished piece okay that's one let's see this one i have this 
use this one. Okay, every time I choose, uh, every time I choose the same color. <laughs> Hi, Remam. Um, right now I don't remember exactly which brush is this. Um, but I think. Uh, I don't know, guys. Uh, but I think I'm not sure. Um, I I think this one was from the uh, Samdos art pack, um, brush pack. I think it was on his his Patreon, his Patreon, and also on the Goom Road. I think you can find them. Uh, but yeah, it's a sketchy. I mean, let me let me check up because I think I have it here somewhere. October. Yeah, I think it was this one. Let's see. Just a It's called Sketchy. I don't have it here. Hmm, interesting. Is this one? Hmm, I don't know, guys. I don't have it here. Maybe I have it on my... Well, I know it is from some of those art brush pack, but I don't have it here. You know, guys, I have a lot of brushes. I have to make some cleanup here because I have a lot of them. I don't know. It should be in the um, in the Sandos art. Um, in the Sandos art pack. And I don't know. I don't. I don't know. Probably is this one, but I just tune it. I don't know. I tune it and do something. Okay, guys, I'm sorry. Um, okay, I have a lot of things, <laughs> a lot of questions. Okay, guys, I speak too much. Well, uh, 333 uh, BX Teach, uh, you can um, go to Sandoz Argum Road. Um, so there you will find it. Uh, the brush, I think it's called a Sketchy. It's a Sketchy. Uh, Agbo, thank you. So happy you like it. Okay, and art by Jean. I, lo I lost you. I lost you. Where are you? That's why, guys, I always say that leave your questions on the questions tab because it's very difficult to follow. Um, when you start digital art, what medium did you use that time? Did you start in Procreate? Um, yeah, but well, um, in some way, I mean, I started digital art a few, few years ago, probably when I was 17 years old, that I bought um, a Wacom, but it was a very old Wacom. I mean, it was, uh, I think the name was the Wacom Bolito 2. I mean, super old, guys. It's super old. And um, and it, it, it didn't have a screen or something. And I, um, okay, hold on a second. <laughs> I have the wrong. Um, and I started just painting in, you know, uh, Photoshop. Uh, but I also use Krita and, uh, and Krita, Gimp, you know, uh, Photoshop and also other other stuff, other programs. But uh, when I returned to drawing again a few years ago, because I stayed without drawing a lot, lots of years, um, I just started with Procreate.
Thank you, Patricia Drawings. Uh, Lina Ibarra, I'm from Spain. Hello, Bell. Agbo, thank you. So happy you like this style. Uh, Solar, how do you make your own brushes? Uh, well, this is a very large ans no, answer, response. No, answer is the correct thing, yeah. Um, but um, what I, I mean, for creating your own brushes, you have to tap here, you know, the plus, and here you can start playing with all these options. Um, probably I will do that a video in the future talking about that. Um, but yeah, you can choose textures, you can choose um, shapes of the brush, you can import your own textures and your own shapes. So you can do a lot of stuff uh, to this. But I will go more in depth in a video on YouTube, okay? Uh, Billy, yes, this is Procreate. Uh, Hifaulia, hello. Oh, let's see, let's see. Uh, Dai Laila Brill says the colors you choose are just beautiful. Thank you. I'm just playing with this um, color palette. Um, that well, I is the one that I used from yesterday uh, reels, uh, but I really want to keep exploring this because I don't know. I I I, I was looking the other day to a webtoon um, that has like this color for the characters and stuff, and it was amazing. And I said, okay, I have to try this and see what happens. So today I'm just practicing color combinations and things. Okay, I have a question. Can you show us your favorite brush? Yeah, well, I have several. <laughs> and also this is depending on, you know, on the mood. And uh, I don't know, guys, it's very difficult to say which is your favorite brush. But I can say, um, for example, I really love from my brush packs, uh, for example, the wash brush pack I have this one that I use a lot and is super texture brush you know to emulate like the wash things you see the strokes so this is one of my favorites and I you can use it to do shadows you can use it to a lot of stuff you know uh, also for doing lines you know um, for example, this one for the line art, I also love it. That you can play with the opacity and with different colors, you know, to create different shapes. Um, also, one of my favorite brushes are, okay, now it's the dry inker. What well, other thing that, that the brush have to have mm, for me is that you can play, you know, paint super slow, not super slow, super thin, sorry, and then just create like a chunky line. So I think more or less they look like calligraph calligraphic uh, brushes. Um, so yeah, you know that you can make this stuff because I really love to put emphasis in some areas on the line art, you know, but you, for example, here, to mark that this line is over this. So I will love to do like a huge line, you know? And also from Procreate, I have a lot. I mean, Procreate presets. I'm not going to talk only about my brushes. <laughs> uh, but for Procreate, from Procreate, sorry, uh, one of my favorites is, it's here, the shale brush. I mean, I really love to uh, paint the air with the brush. Also the chalk brush, you know, very texture brushes. I really love texture. Okay, now I'm going to continue, guys, because uh, um, where it is here. Now I have. I need to start painting. 
Hold on a second. This is also skin. Yeah, I guess. Let's put that. Let's paint this very quick. Okay, now I need to start making contrast. Oh, I'm good. <laughs> um. <laughs> Can you say something about your favorite artists and maybe how they help you to find your style? Well, um, I think having, um, I'm sorry guys, I'm going to have tea. Um, well, uh, probably, I don't know guys, if you can see my references here. <laughs> probably you do because I, um, I have, I had a lot of artists that I really love. For example, I always say the same. Uh, sometimes they don't need to be your own, you know, to have the same style as you. Uh, but, um, but for example, I really love uh, Franert. You know, I don't, I don't know guys if you know Franert, uh, but she also is an illustrator. Is an illustrator, but she didn't have anything to do with my style. Um, but. For similar artists like me, well, not similar, of course, because they are 100 times better than me. But for example, I have Loish. I really love Loish. And from Loish, I started to, um, or I love the movement, you know. I think one of the things that inspires me most from Loish is the movement of the characters, um, how flowy is everything. Also the lining uh, three, three, three ten, you know, the treat of the light. And I really love, you know, how Loish uh, paints, you know, the style so painterly. So uh, it's not that perfect. I mean, not that outline it. And somehow I like it. And I experimented a lot with this kind of style also. But I think it's not for me. I think I prefer... Well, the thing is of the style uh, has to be um, getting or practicing from other artists that you like and keep the things you like and get rid of the things that you don't feel comfortable with. So even I try to paint with Lo like Loish technique, for example, thing that I, things that I use sometimes. Um, I think for me it's it's more it's more easy and it's more pleasant to paint different um but i kept a lot of things of her style and and the way she treats the light and things so this is the point from loish also um, uh pernile is one of my um pernile is, is one of my favorite also okay too much also guys sorry Bernile is another of the artists I love um, and I start following her at the beginning. Well, when I started Instagram, I didn't follow anyone because I didn't have any idea of the people who were there. So I know all these artists once I created my account and things uh, because until now I didn't have any kind of references. Um, so when I discovered them, I started like getting uh, or finding and trying styles very similar to them. Um, for example, from Pernille, I like the simplicity of the painting, you know, uh, with only a few colors and a very basic shadows. Um, they, she has, she had, yeah, she has an amazing uh, drawing. So this is something that I really wanted to keep in my drawings too, uh, because, I like the, the simple things. I mean, also, you know, guys, I'm a designer, a graphic designer. So I think for me, um, simple designs are working better to my taste. Um, so I have to say that from Pernile, I kept a lot of stuff. Also the way she draw the faces or the way she play with the shapes, you know. And I'm sorry, guys, I am boring you with this stuff. 
Okay, let's hold a break with this. Uh, there is a way to undo by pressing three fingers and yeah, I know, I know that, but you know, I think for me it's easy to go to there. Oops. Okay, guys. Hello to everyone who's joining it, who joined, and I didn't see it because I was talking. Um, yeah, okay. So continuing with the references and the people I like. Also, I have... Uh, I'm just looking there because all of here, you know, from the people on Twitch, all of these box here are books for artists. And uh, for example, from uh, from Sibyl in my net, I really love how she works with a wash. And one of my works or projects last year, uh, at the end of last year, was um, trying to interpret the wash on digital. You know, um, I know I'm not making sense um, because because we, I mean, we have other brushes and have a lot of stuff that people who do like digital wash, but I try to f work with Sibylline style a little bit, you know, the painting style that she has. And that was basically my, I mean, if you saw my last Inktober, you will see that I were experimenting a lot with the textures, the, the paper textures and the dry ink brushes. So yeah, I'm I'm getting inspired from different artists and I'm merging them in my style. Also recently, I just found, uh, I think the name is Fefal. And Fefal also, I really love how she works the line art, how she works um, the faces, you know, they are super simple. So it's uh, also, very you know interesting and i implemented some of this aspect also to my drawings for example i mean here the i mean here in the eyes the eye shapes they are quite simple also added this kind of detail so this is how this is uh, how these artists are getting influence on my style and I'm, I'm sure that in the future i will discover or other artists and i probably will be, you know, um, changing things. Let's see, no, I'm erasing, I'm not erasing. Okay, guys, I'm trying to see, oops, oopsie, that's not good. I'm trying to find mm, a color that works well here. I don't like it. I don't like it. Okay, I think I need to check the values right now because hmm, I think they're going to look very boring. So let's do that first. Paper and color. Okay, you see what I said, that it was looking very um, boring. I mean, it's looking the same color. All this is looking the same color. I need to change that. This. Wow, it's super gray. <laughs> it's, everything is gray. Um, let's see, let's see. I need to create contrast. I need to create contrast. Let's go back to it. Yeah, this one is different. And Clearly, I need to put mm -hmm. 
Good morning, Lucas. I'm sorry, I just saw your your thing. Um, okay, let's see. Let's see with the contrast of this. Now it's looking better. But I still think I think it's the skin. It's very similar, you know, the color. And this one is very boring and don't bring that much. It has to be red. Let's see a red. No, 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 no. This one is also. You see, guys, I'm just trying to find a color that I like. This is not that bad, but I, I think uh, the point here. Uh, the point here is that. Um, Probably, if we had darkened skin, we have to have lighter clothes. Let's see. The thing is that I need to find contrast between the skin and between the clothes. And probably I wanted to darken a little bit this. We have used this one somewhere. No. Hmm. I want to block the alpha. Okay, hello to the people on Twitch. We are seven people there. This is the day we have more people. <laughs> so welcome here. I think now it makes more sense. I don't know, guys. But they are too pink, right? But well, at least we have more contrast. Hope you can see it, like how it's changing. Um, okay. And what if I change this to a red? Let's do this. We are going to have the same issue. You know, you see that it's mostly the same color of the of the skin. You see it here, guys. It's practically practically the same. Um, so go back there. There, 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 here. Probably a white. This is the lightness. Well, I think I'm going to leave it here with this because I don't see that good here. Sometimes we can create contrast with colors, but let's see. Okay, I'm going to leave it this color way. Okay, let's see. Hey, Pixel, welcome again. Mm -hmm. uh, Kamikatura, how do you put black and white to see contrast in Procreate? Okay, I'm going to answer you right now. It's very easy. I mean, it's super easy, guys. And it's like a tip. <laughs> it's like a super... A mega tip that saved my life because I always like to see this. Um, but the only thing you have to do is create a layer on top, okay? On top of everything, just because you want that everything that you have underneath, it's going to be in black and white. You have to choose a black color or white color. Doesn't matter. You see, I just fill it with white, for example. And then I go to the blending mode that it's called color 
And with that, you have it. <laughs> if we use the the um, the black, you see, I'm going to do the same with black. You see that we have the same result. So you can work wherever you want, blacks or white. Um, but also the uh, blending mode has to be on color, okay? So let's do another. Maybe we have to return to this one because uh, I think it's very softy. Maybe we can add maybe we can add some color here. I mean it lacks from color, you know. If I do this white, no, let's see. Yeah, probably I think I prefer that. Uh, and I want to use pink color for this. I don't know. I just feel that I needed to put some color there. Mm -mm. Okay, let's paint this. I want this to be red, you know, like a red jacket or something. Hello. I think this one here is going to be my favorite. You see that I'm painting with a white, but it's not white. It's like um, gray white. It's like this one. Uh, and I'm going to use this same color. Let's see here. Um, and the top, maybe the top, maybe like a pink, uh, pink, I think, but not the same color of the skin, very white, this. Uh, thank you, Blackboard, so happy you like it.
Hmm, I don't know. I don't know with this. I don't know with this. I mean, it's difficult, guys. Uh, as I said, it's difficult to um, merge colors that you don't know how to use because they are not my type, you know, my common colors. And well, we're going to loud, very, very loud um, when I have to paint the air. Let's see, let's see now. Let's go. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if I want to this. Well, I think I somehow like how this um, contrast is working. Probably I will maintain like blonde, you know, uh, not blonde, but um, light pink color for the air. I like, I like how it's looking. Let's do this one here, this girl. Uh, this wear some kind of apron. Okay, I was trying to figure out what it was like this. I think it's like an orange. Um, and I don't know what is this. Back, probably. Well, let's paint the apron. Um, I want it to be pink. This one is going to be pink. Apron pink. I have to say, guys, that I am enjoying a lot just doing this, uh, you know, painting. I really need it because lately I'm having a lot of work and and I don't have time to practice. <laughs> it's so sad. Is this the apron? Yeah. I don't know. Is that an apron or is like... Another type of clothes. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm super lost right now. Probably this is has to be light pink. Yeah, that's fine, but light pink. Okay, guys, you are very quiet on time. <laughs> And I'm running out of ideas about what to talk. Oh, this is the braid.
I don't understand what's happening here, to be honest. I think this is the sleeve. But what happened here? What is this? <laughs> what is this? Oh my goodness. Is this coming this way? Well, this one clearly has to have darkened. Uh, thank you, Mina. Hello, I didn't see that you were here. I'm going to, um, as I said, yeah, um, paint the air darken. I think this one is going to be like dark air. Ooh, my pencil is going out. Oh my goodness. Um, and let's see which color. This one here could go fine. Let's add it in another layer. So guys, I don't know, talking about calming things and videos, uh, I started watching recently, you know, the SRAM videos. <laughs> and I was thinking um, if it's possible to create like SR, SRM, no, ASRM uh, videos just by painting, you know, uh, probably with the you know the the the, um, the sound of the iPad. People is doing crazy things. I have to be honest. Okay, I have some comments here in the chat. Uh, S, 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 S artist, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. There seems to be no difference between the body and the shirt. What do you mean? You know, here, the color, you mean? I don't know. <laughs> let me know, let me know, guys. Oops. Before I go, I want to at least draw some shadows and brush, brush, no, blush, and these things. They're going to look very simple because, as I say, they're going to be as sketches, as where, I'm, uh, where I am, uh, where, what I am trying to learn here is to work with similar color palettes, you know, um, same color, color palettes and try to make them work. Rich on one, thank you. Uh, as, as like this, okay. Yeah, they're very similar. It's true. Let's watch. Yeah. They are very close. Um, maybe I can change. Let's see. Um, because I want to have contrast between uh, this, the apron. And this is the color of the, yeah, this is the color of the skin. But, and this is the color of the apron. Okay, I'm running out of colors. <laughs> 
this is a color so maybe I can use this one <clears throat> Let's see if this works better. Oh, what the hell I did here? Oops. Okay. Oh, this is driving me crazy here. This one is a little bit darker, not that much, but I think it works better, right? Let me know. Oops. Also, guys, probably um, this weekend I will go live too uh, because Luis is working and I have time to, you know, to stay in the living room and do the live streams there. Normally, I don't go live on on weekends because you know Luis is in the in the living room watching TV, you know, football, sports, and this stuff. Yeah, I think it too. I think now we can see it better. Let's see. Yeah, clearly you can see, we can see it's a little bit darker. So yeah, very, very nice suggestion, uh, Ezra Artis. I have to say it. When you guys are right, I have to say that. Okay, let's continue with the air. Well, uh, it's a little bit of a disaster, <laughs> this air ending, but I don't care. I don't care. Let's paint that. Also, remember, guys, that you will have the live stream uh, available on the feed. And also, uh, I am I'm saving all the live streams on Twitch from Twitch on YouTube. So, uh, because you know that after fourteen days, uh, they just go out from the main page on on Twitch. So I wanted to keep to keep it. Let's see. Let's work with a gray color for this. Oh, I said it was gray. No, too gray. This is somehow like a back toe back or something. Um, no, I don't like it. It has to be. No, this is the same color as the skin. I'm running out of colors. Okay, let's do this one. Maybe I can put some lines, pink lines, here to make it look better. Let's see. Okay, I have a back, a back, a coat. No, how this is a pillow? Yeah, it's a pillow. Oh, yeah. I really need to invest in a better, you know, office chair because this one is not very. It's not very, very, very. Um, what's the name of that? Comfy. Yeah. Well, let's see the color of this. This is a color of apron. This is a color of air. Oh my goodness, I'm running out of colors. I say it 40 times now, but I'm going to do it separately because maybe we can choose another color outside the color palette. I mean, it's cool to have a color palette to work with, but we have to take in mind that sometimes we have to go to find a color that works and it's upside the uh, upside the palette, you know. Let's see. Maybe a color and let's take a look to hold on a second, guys. I want to um, 
Sì. No, from this. A blue. Maybe we can use a blue. <clears throat> Thank you. So happy you like the style. Okay, well, next. I didn't paint that. This one, let's go for grays and reds. Well, no. She has clearly the gray color. Probably this skin tone is not the best one, but let's try how to, uh, I mean, let's see how we can make this color not look so dull, you know, so horrible and so gray. You know, guys, that colors uh, change. I mean, they not not change, but you see them different from uh, when they have surrounded with other colors, um, they look different. So sometimes, for example, it happens with blues and purples um, that, that they have like, or they look like with a different hue from the original ones. Um, so, as the skin, I'm just trying, okay, guys, not, not the thing. This has to be clearer. Mm, sorry, I did. I said I was going to do the area another layer. Okay, maybe this has to be different. Hmm. Okay, this is the same. I didn't use this for Hmm, this is the skin color, guys. <laughs> I am turning, I am, this is the skin color. No, it's not this one. Okay. Maybe I'm going to use the same color as the air for the for this. Okay, guys. Hello to everyone who's joining. Hello, hello. Okay, no, I can't use that because. <gasps> oh, okay. And also, I can use that. You see, guys, this is super difficult. <laughs> this is super difficult. And I hate this brown right now. This is looking very bad. Let's see this. Uh, 
not sure about that. Hmm. Still, I think this skin tone is not looking fine at all. I used this in another place. No, I think I didn't. It's a pant, so I know I'm going to change. You see, guys, I am just rearranging, <gasps> rearranging things um, to make it look better. It's a little bit like playing to, te to Tetris, you know, guys? Finding like the perfect color that fits um, the color combination of everything. So, so yeah, this is <laughs> what I'm doing right now. Okay, let's see. I have some common here. Uh, hi, Martina. I'm fine. Thank you. How are you? Uh, Lily, Yo Lily uh, is asking if I am using the brushes that came pre-installed or do you use others? Um, I use a mix of them. Right now, I'm using a brush that it's from the one that I created. But sometimes I use the shale brush, as I said before. Um, other times I use a mix of them because, I don't know, um, I like to mix different layers and sorry, brushes and things. Um, I think she has to be even more clear here. Maybe too much. I don't know, guys. I think I like this combination. What do you think? Maybe we can make it not that blonde. Just a little bit more lighter. I mean, I'm doing the change. Okay, let me let me take it. I don't know what I'm doing. Ah, here, no, here, and let's move it around. No, no, what I'm going to do. Is I'm going to leave this. Okay. Okay, and now this. I said I want it to be dark. No, uh, clear, no. Light color. Let's see. So I guess I'm um, super happy with these drawings because I was also on this sketch session trying to um, synthesize, uh, no, stylize the shapes and things. So I think I, well, um, I think I'm very happy of my work, and I think like I I did a great job of stylization on shapes. Uh, okay, Martina asked if I studied art. Or I did learn by myself. Um, well, I studied fine art long, long, long time ago. Um, but digital art wasn't something. I mean, when I was in in fine arts, uh, it's true that we have like the first two years uh, with painting and uh, life drawing, you know, on class that you have a model and you have to uh, sketch that person. Um, and, um, and I didn't, I somehow hate it. So they were my favorite, um, subjects on, you know, on the, on the, on the, the career, the degree. Well, the thing is that I didn't like it, like, like them at all. And, uh, but I always, at the same time, I always draw like girl characters and I was very little. So, um, yeah, I think it's a mix of everything. In fine arts, I studied graphic design. I mean, I was specialized in graphic design. Hi, Mr. Nang, how are you? 
It is in Procreate. Yeah, Anna, it's Procreate. It's Procreate. Well, let's paint this. Uh, hold on. Oops. Oopsie. Here it's going off the line. Uh, right now, I'm not very sure about this ball in blue. Or orange. Okay, let's paint the eyes, you know, let's, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose the color of these and I'm just going to bring them to a not pure white because you know guys that I always say that not pure white for painting eyes, but similar color, so lighter color of this, you see now this is working better. I uh, have some comments here. Okay, let's see. Hello, Illustratithan. Hey, Artistic Daisy. Are you using iPad Air or Pro? Uh, my version is an iPad Pro. Um, so, so, yeah, it's an iPad Pro. Um, but very uh, not very old. It's from four years ago. And Anna, do you have a training course? I don't have training course, but uh, on my Patreon you can find um, like different tiers. For example, I have the tier for five dollars that you can have access to tutorials and uh, tutorials, draw with me videos, also time lapse of of all my drawings. Um, the actual PDF, not PSD file, so you can move down from the from the layers and see how I'm resolving things. And if you want also um, have more, you have the option for five uh, for 10, 10 euros. Uh, we met two times a month and we sketch together. So I propose some I propose some references and. We draw along together uh, with all the people from the tier. And I try to improve or give you tips for improve your drawing there. And if you even want more, <laughs> uh, I recently have like the uh, feedback videos. Uh, and basically uh, every week uh, you can send me one of your sketches. And I'm in, and in a video, I'm going to try to um, say to you the points uh, that you have to change um, and also explain you why you have to change it and what the what are the you know what it's going to happen if you change and these things so it's not exactly a training course but um, I think that having this kind of support you know um, like the assistance uh, when drawing I think you can improve with this Okay, also on the feedback video tier, you can show me a uh, colored versions if you have any doubts on colors, or you can show me a sketch if you have, you know, if you don't know how to place things. Normally, I talk about composition, um, I talk about uh, body, um, you know, I, I just show you how to do the body shapes or the poses if I see they're looking stiff and things. So, yeah. Not exactly a training course, but definitely I think it helps. Um, okay, let's continue with the eyes. I'm going to do the same for this. And not for this. This is more gray. And this is super clear. Yeah. 
You see, guys, I, I am not using white. You see? Because if I use white here, they were looking like lights. I mean, uh, I don't know the name of that. Um, lights? You know the car? The car uh, lights? Well, I don't know the name in English. Okay, I have an ear or something here that it's making... Okay, this one I have it more, you know, completely abandoned. You're welcome, Anna. Hi, Regina. Eh, Raquel, el speed painting de, de esto. Os lo enseñaré al final, ¿vale? Cuando termine, antes de que me vaya, voy a estar un ratito más y os enseñaré todo el, el vídeo. Voy a pintar los labios. Es que quiero terminar algunas cositas antes para tenerlo más o menos acabado. Porque, por ejemplo, esta pobre no le he hecho nada. nada. Esto es... <laughs> Hello, Saskia. Yeah, uh, I am mixing, <laughs> mixing languages right now. <laughs> the thing is that I sound, um, I sound older when I speak in English, and when I speak in Spanish, um, I think my, my voice is more childish. I don't know. It's like a perception I have. Okay, Anna is asking, what age is suitable for learning digital painting? Um, I have to say that mm, there's no age for that. I mean, I started with Procreate when I was 40, no, 40, no, sorry, 30, 34. Um, so I think there's no, no age. I mean, what you have to have is the illusion to do it and also the inspiration to do it, because I think with that, it's enough to, to start with that. Okay, more leaves. Oh, this one also have this white thing. Okay, and and this one I really want to have like a very strong color for lips. Okay, guys, I think it's. Somehow looking cool. Let's let's do some brush, 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 brush. <laughs> yeah, it's very curious this thing. Um, I mean, I don't know why I can have like the same voice. You know, the voice. No, hue is for. It's hue valid also for voices, you know, hue, well, you know, um, uh, having something the same, but no, uh, I think when I, um, in fact, sometimes uh, when, you know, these people from uh, companies that they uh, call for, um, uh, that they call for selling your stuff, 
Uh, sometimes they say me when in Spanish, of course. Uh, sometimes they say me if they're my parents at home, <laughs> and it's like, okay, no, I am just adult. I mean, I can have kids. I mean, I, I can have kids that it could be teenagers right now. So yeah, great with pig. Thank you. So happy you like it. Okay, let's do some plush thing now. I'm going to use the soft brown. I'm not complicating myself that much. Oops, this is too big. Where's this key? Let's see, for darkened skins, probably I will go for darkened shades. Okay. Let's see how it's looking. Maybe contrast. Probably the one with less contrast is this one here. You know, this girl. Um, let's see. Ah, you mean for a child? Um, well, I don't know. Um, I have to be honest. I don't know. Uh, I see childs that start drawing since little. I mean, uh, myself, um, I think that if you can, um, probably I will suggest you to start with pen and paper for a child, you know, because I think it's uh, very interesting that they know how to work on paper and how to feel the pains and these things. Um, and then you can switch to, um, and then you can switch to uh, the digital, you know? And by the way, I see you were one from the people who commissioned me because I recognize this <laughs> profile pic, Anna. <laughs> oh, I didn't remember your, um, I didn't remember your name, by the way. Um, what skills are required for? Well, as I said, I think um, if you want to, uh, I mean, for a child, the youngest it is, I think it's better because they are expanding their creativity. And also I think it's, um, and also I think it's interesting because they can um, start like creating imagination, not creating imagination, but developing their creativity and their imagination and things. So probably, you can start with kids around three years or even earlier. I don't know. But in paper, I will um, try to do it on paper first. And then when it's bigger and they can maybe when with six, seven years that I have more knowledge, um, you can uh, start to teaching them to, to paint on digital. Um, mainly because they're going to respect better and they have control of the gesture and they're not going to, you know, make all the scratches on the screen. So I, I think this is my my recommendation. Uh, hola, Lizaus. Buen día para ti también. 
it is good for them digital painting after acrylic yeah i think it's a good combination i mean i think it's fine to try to do both things in fact this is what i'm trying to do myself right now <laughs> and also it's interesting because um when you have the knowledge for you know for paper and have uh, traditional painting uh you can transmit this to the digital drawing so i think it's a good combo and if you can do that to that child uh, that would be amazing hi mixi mixi ank okay let's continue with this What I want to do is, let's see. And what I'm doing now, um, what I'm doing now is just changing the uh, blending mode of the sketch. Because for example, here it looks very plain you know so if i put it on let's see darken linear born for example we have interesting things here because we are gaining contrast uh in some areas i don't know this one this one no multiply also multiply it's it's less harm you know it's less dark I'm going to leave it and multiply okay Anna if you have any question regarding this uh, you can write me a DM and we can talk more in detail with that okay uh, will you save this? Yes, they're going to be saved on Instagram, on the feed. And also it's going to be um, on the YouTube and Twitch. Okay, so you can go there also to watch it. Okay, guys, and I think I'm going to leave it here because it's almost one quarter to two. So, whoop, what happened here? Okay, what's the shot? So, well, um, hope you enjoyed this live stream, uh, just painting with me. And by Mary, uh, estoy leyendo ahora, mi voz en español también suena más infantil. Sí, no sé por qué. <laughs> no sé por qué nos pasa esto. Pero la verdad es que la voz en inglés es como más, eh, ¿cómo decirlo? Más ronca, puede ser, no sé. Um, Okay, guys, so hello to the people who's joining right now, but I'm sorry because I'm going to leave and see you guys on the next live stream. Probably I will be doing one more over the weekend on San Saturday, probably, because on Sunday I have a sketch session with my patrons. Um, so, so yeah, guys, uh, see you there. See you on Sun on Saturday, 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 guys. I'm I'm just <laughs> and Anna. Thank you so much. So happy you like it and enjoy it, and and yeah, guys. See you again. Uh, see you everyone on Twitch. Bye bye, guys. Um, we are going to have it on Twitch and YouTube, like the full live stream. So. Bye-bye. Thank you for stepping by and see you soon.